If you've been wanting to make drinkware mockups in Canva or some other program besides Photoshop and wanted to use my files, you're in luck. I'm going to show you how to do this in Canva today. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and you can find links to all of my things at saradesign.com slash drinkware. It'll take you to my creative market shop and to my Instagram account where we can connect. I sell this file along with many others in my creative market shop, but this file is my mock-up bundle with white mugs. So I sell all three of these individually and also as this bundle for a better deal. And I've had people reaching out and asking and saying, hey Sarah, I don't have Photoshop, can I use your files? And I wanted to show you that you can still use my files and you'll still be set up for success if you decide to give Photoshop a try down the road. If you want the full effect of my files, but being able to change the color of the glitter and the glitter heights at will, then you will need Photoshop to do that. But if you just want to be able to use my mugs as transparent pings that you drop your design on top of, you can also do that because I have included JPEG and ping versions of each of these mugs in here. And I only have one color and that is gold if you want to use the glitter because it would just be impossible for me to make the entire gamut of a rainbow of colors that anybody could possibly ever want to use, so I've just chosen gold. <laughs> so if you want to use the gold glitter, you can, but you won't be able to change the color unless you maybe play with some filters in your program. But for full color control, you want Photoshop. So if you purchase this bundle or one of my um, mugs that I sell individually, you're going to get a folder of images. It will include something like this. So there's a white one and then there's a gold at different glitter heights and also a full wrap gold. So in this video I'm using just the white one and I've also grabbed a background. Now this bundle comes with a background but I have this background neutral edition that has eight different background images in it. So I went ahead and I grabbed one of these as well. So I have one of these backgrounds and I have one of these mugs and I opened up Canva and pulled them in and I can make just like this in here. So let me show you how to do that. I'll make um, a new page and show it to you from scratch. So if you've uploaded your background image into Canva and you've uploaded your mug, all you're going to do is start a new document inside of Canva at whatever size you want. I'm just using the Instagram post size. Then you click on your background image and it puts it in and you just pull out from the corners to make it fit. Okay, and then you click on your mug and it drops that in. And then all you have to do is lay your design on top. So. I don't have a design in here right now, so what I'm doing is just grabbing one of the text layouts and pulling that in to show you how that would look. And it's as easy as that. You don't have a way to make the image look like it's wrapping or bending around the roundness of the shape. That's what my Photoshop file lets you do. But you get a pretty decent looking mock-up, which is probably fine for you to list for sale in your online shop. And you can also do this same kind of method inside of your cutting software where all of your cut files already are. You just start a new document, you drop in your background, and then you drop your mug on top and then lay your cut file on top of that. And then you save it out and post it to the internet and get tons of sales. So I hope that helps most of the files that I sell um, on my site. Uh, inside of Creative Market come with this set of blank mugs in ping versions for folks who can't use Photoshop, but you also get the full Photoshop version for when you want to upgrade and be able to have some more control down the road. Thanks so much. Happy selling.